Hello and welcome back to the Outer Worlds. I'm having an amazing time with this game. So fun. But it's time to go to sleep, I guess. And uh, just, just just go for a little nap time. Six hours. And after this, we gotta go snoop around the ship. Maybe drink something first. Uh, not sure what. Actually, we should just upgrade the... I don't know, tinker a little bit with our guns, maybe? Who knows? This is... Long time coming. I need to just, uh, properly... Check out the ship. Okay, there's really not much going on here. We can climb up, but... This doesn't lead to anywhere. Yeah, we have the workbench. With, which is a very interesting thing. So we can tinker with the assault rifle to increase the damage by like 10%. And it would cost me a pathetic amount of money. Let's do it. Increase the DPS. Wait, I can tinker with it again? No way. How the fuck does this work? I can just keep tinkering with the same gun to increase its DPS? What the fuck? Um, maybe? I just can keep putting uh, 9 damage on it and it costs more and more every time. Let, let's just be okay with that. Maybe we'll find a better gun. So this is the one that we can upgrade or just repair. Like that doesn't really need repair. We can upgrade this. I mean repair that. Wait, does it cost nothing? No, it costs uh five weapon parts to repair 0 0.8 condition. We're not doing that. Yeah, we, we don't have to repair these. Uh breakdown stuff. It's not great. Modify. Yeah. Modify the Deadeye Assault Rifle. So it has... Max size? I don't know. Make it plasma. Do I want that? Okay, let's make it plasma. It's, it's plasma damage. And it has already has a scope on it. I can replace it. We lower the spread or increase the max range by a little bit. I don't think that's needed. And we all we already have a pretty good scope on it. So let's just say we want plasma damage on this gun. And it still requires heavy ammo. Oh, that just shows the damage type, so it shows that it's plasma damage. Okay, fair enough. I don't really want to upgrade the tactical shotgun. And at this point, the pistol is pointless. But, I will probably want to use... Uh, the heavy machine gun myself. I thought about it a little bit, and it kind of makes sense. So this is the... What my companions have equipped, partially. Okay, that's not the best time to do it. Light, assault rifle. I can go tinker, modify. Oh, modify a heavy machine gun. Light machine gun. Wait a second. Can I modify the weapons of my companions? Hmm. Is there anything here that we need? Crit damage. Eh, nothing really super interesting here, so maybe maybe we're just gonna leave it like... Oh, what we might want to modify is the armor. Elite troop armor. We can install a mod in here that... Yeah. Temporally invulnerable. And that's really good. Dialogue skills, leadership skills. Oh, that might be okay, especially for me. By plus ten, that's that's really good. 
So that, that might be an armor that I want to put on myself. On my armor. Maybe on this armor. Maybe. Well, we can, we can install the mod. I, I don't need that. Oh, uh, sure. Why not? So, this is good for dialogue as well now. We don't have to bring a dedicated clothing for that. But I probably might, might will, anyway. Elite Troop Armor. I don't know. I, I think it just stands to reason that if we have some stuff, we probably should use it. So, you're gonna have that, you know? It warns me that uh, cannot be recovered. But fine, what I'm, I'm going, what am I going to do? Like, never gonna use it? That's probably what I would do. Just use it for the best armor in the game. But frankly, we just need to not die. Keep not dying. <laughs> and that's that's great. What's Want going to on? Want to be a brand new you? Try out our respecification machine. Alex installed it himself right before he died. Okay. Oh, choosing the, the respec refunds all your spent skills and perk points, then you can spend them in a different way. The price of respec will increase each time you use the machine. Would you like to spend 500 bits to refund, refund all your skills and perk points? Not your attributes. Uh, no, 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 I don't want to do that. But I do appreciate uh, you giving me the option. I think this is awesome. Because I, I know some, some players are going to be like, Oh my god, I don't like respec. But that's the whole point! It, it gives you the option. Option is always best, you know? If you want to respec, you're not just not happy with your character, but you like the playthrough, you can respec, or maybe you're just getting a little bored with your character. You can respec. That's the, that's the whole point. Choice is always amazing. I'm, I'm pretty happy with uh, who I'm playing right now, although I would change the attributes. Uh, if I start a new character, I would probably go with a little bit more balanced attributes, but uh, it's not a big deal. Oh, the toilet. Perfect. I'm just gonna leave it open. Okay, okay. If anyone takes so a big I dump, I wanna program. smell it. You remember that spin-off series about the mass marketeer? Oh, Ellie. Halcyon Helen's coming on for a special romance arc! Ah! What if they hold hands? Wow, are you serious? I got a good copy of that. <laughs> Alright. I've been chilling. Do I know... Who has which chamber? Just stretching your legs, boss? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, look at that! Whoever is living here is living the good life. Who's living here? Oh, violence is not the answer. Violence is the question. The answer is yes, Felix. Um. So this is Felix's room? I like what you did with the place. Uh, I'm not gonna steal your purple berry punch. Uh, just, uh, well, I'm not gonna sleep in your bed. Vicar Max. This is a boring room, I see. I can steal your heavy ammo. My heavy ammo, most likely. But... Oh, actually, maybe we have something to talk about, don't we? Companion quest? Give data cartridge to Vicar Max. Got it. His name is Reginald Cheney. And he joined a sublight salvage crew. Only he's not listed on the return manifest. Must have made landfall somewhere he wasn't supposed to. Ah, uh, yes. Here. There's a domicile on Monarch in Fallbrook, rented to the same bit cart he used to buy his seat on the salvage ship. I should have guessed. What better place to lay low if you wish to avoid the authorities? Okay. You hesitated there, Vicar. Why aren't you telling me? I can't ask that, because I'm not perceptive. This is awfully convenient. I admit it was a bit of a long shot, but when you've spent as many hours as I have in contemplation of the universe's secrets, you sometimes get a sense for these things. Okay. Sounds good, let's go. I can maybe grab a snack. Uh, let's, let's eat that. And now? I don't have a care in this world. Whoa, what's 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 going on here? Space is choice. Oh, I know he's living here. I like this too. 
Oh, perfect. I love it. Oh, crap. Sam? Is this a companion that I know nothing about? <laughs> Sam! There's no response from the automated... Uh, automatic mechanical unit. <clears throat> Serial number etched in its class chassis includes the letters uh, slam, Sam. Okay, uh, maybe something for later. Oh, Ali. Uh, hey. Something on your mind? Yeah, I was just looking for your chamber. No particular uh, reason. I'm. I was just uh, trying to check out everyone's chamber. If you're working to, if you are working, if we are going to work together, uh, I'd like to know more about you. Yeah. I'm a surgeon by training and a pirate by inclination. Sounds good. Not much else to know, Captain. I like long walks on the promenade and the smell of Spacer's Corona. I make a mean zero-G cocktail and I've got a meaner right hook. Uh. Do you have much experience contracting out with other captains? Sure do. Some of it was even legal. What was that supposed to mean? There's a lot of business that goes through the Groundbreaker. Some of it's board-authorized freight hauling, and some of it's not. I've done all types of work with all kinds of crews. If there's one thing you ought to know about me, it's that I won't tell you your business. Your ship, your way. Yep, that's how it goes. Sounds good. Glad to hear it. It's worked for me this long. I was hoping for something more personal. You're a bit of a thrill seeker now, but your past of being a surgeon, that, that's not exactly a, a fear seeking uh, occupation. Like, I'm not, not, like, your surgeon turned into a pirate who was so eager to just get on, get on board of my ship. And I can certainly uh, appreciate and understand, you know, uh, just looking at life like, you know, we're just gonna have some fun. But you're kind of going to like ten steps further, and you're just risking your life. Um, and that seems a little too much, maybe. But I would like to know because it doesn't quite add up. I was hoping to know something more personal about you. Well, my blood type is AB positive. I'm a Leo, and I despise space hospital. Never mind what anyone else tries to tell you. That about covers it. Okay, so uses jokes. Do not say anything personal. I can't recall anyone who would ever do that. <clears throat> Where are you from? How do you get into this line of work? Oh, come on, that stuff's boring. I agree. <laughs> You're deflecting. But I agree. Uh, that's that's boring stuff. You're deflecting though. Look, the thing I've learned about living in close quarters is that you've got to give people room to breathe. I agree with that. I'm all for making a few bits together and having fun doing it, but let's keep a little professional distance. I, 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 I didn't ask for too much. I was just trying to be friendly, but hey, sure. What's a zero-G cocktail? It's a mix of whatever you've got on hand. Usually zero-G brew with some Spectrum vodka if you're lucky. Purple berry shake if you're not. Okay. I like it. I'll make you one sometime. If you don't enjoy it, I'll make a few more until you do. Oh, that sounds dreadful. I'm more like a pure water kind of gal. <laughs> oh, let's get back to business. No complaints here. I don't know. Never mind. Let's, let's go. I don't see much point in just sending companions away. Oh, that's her quarters. And we have one more quarter for a companion that we've yet to met, meet, and I suppose it's gonna be Sam. <laughs> Very convenient. We have five rooms. And like a robot. Okay. So, what else we got? Distress signal. Oh, we gotta view the recording on my ship. Well, what are we waiting for? I can just go into my quarters. 
Anyone wants to chill in my quarters? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. I, if I'm not here, definitely. If I'm here, I don't know. Maybe not. People just need their private space, you know. After a long day, you might just want to just want to chill in your quarters. I'm not saying that's what I want to do all the time, but sometime. There's a reason why everyone has their quarters. Wait, do even do they do they even have fucking doors? I don't think they have fucking do they have doors? Oh, they, I think they have doors. Oh, they have doors. All right, that's good. That would have been a massive oversight if they didn't have doors. <laughs> okay, Ada. Welcome back, Captain. How can I be of assistance? I want to watch a video. You got something good? Uh, no ending about uh, the auto mechanical gathering dust in the janitor's closet. <laughs> the unit is a cleaning sam. Hawthorne brought it on board some cycles ago, I'm sure with the intent to modify it. But I've never seen it up and running. Alex likely recorded progress notes detailing his efforts to modify Sam. If you check the terminal in your captain's quarters, we may be able to determine what work remains in order for Sam to properly operate. Okay. I picked up this distress call. Can you play it back to me? Yes, Captain. Beginning playback now. Let's go. There's... There's viscera and death everywhere. Gunfire, gnashing teeth, the unemployed. For law's sake, if anyone's receiving this, please send help. What? Uh, no, 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 no! Captain, we are now capable of accessing the Roseway landing pad. We are! Also, corporate protocol requires that all distress signals include a list of key personnel for retrieval. The embedded names are Anton Crane, Vaughn Cortez, and Orson Shaw. That doesn't tell me anything. I'm in the mood for some entertainment. Um, I am. <laughs> uh, yeah. What you got, Ada? Certainly, Captain. What would you like to hear? Um, play my favorite song. <laughs> now playing a Spacer's Choice advertisement jingle. It's not the best choice. It's Spacer's Choice. That's not my favorite song. Everyone in Halcyon is contractually obligated to label this or another board certified jingle their favorite song. <laughs> oh my god. I'm a joke. My violence inhibitors are a joke. No, really. I only keep them enabled because of how funny they are. Uh. Okay. As you wish, Captain. I just left me concerned. I with all direct orders. You got a minute to talk? I have lots of minutes. Many minutes. Unlimited minutes, perhaps. Providing an adequate power source, I can function indefinitely. Good for you. What if you don't have a power source? I prefer to think of it as being in a state of slumber. Perhaps for an indefinite duration of time. Do you think that is what it's like for the colonists on the Lost Hope? In a way, yes. Because your parts can also... Uh, well, erode, whatever, get destroyed over time. Lose their functionality. At the very least. Or at the very least you would lose your memory, maybe? I mean, we're talking about a longer time than a hibernated colonist would uh, expire, <laughs> but uh, it would happen. Not like you would last a million years. I guess so. When I simulate myself in such a scenario, I do not find it to be desirable. I think my self-preservation protocols incline me to desire the alternative. And what might that be? Traveling the system with you, Captain. Ah. Uh, what about your last captain? Do you miss him, or is one captain the same as a, as another? Do you know what it feels like when the ship undergoes an unexpected power surge? A jolt to the system. I have felt that. I do feel that. As you may be aware, Captain Alex Hawthorne was a smuggler of some repute. 
I failed to predict the likely outcome of his reckless behavioral patterns. I should have predicted that. In our travels together, Alex liked to pass time by, as he called it, tinkering to improve my design. Have there been other captains of this ship? If you mean, was Captain Hawthorne my first? Yes, he was. Let's talk about something else. How can I be of assistance? Maybe the crappy se security was because of uh, is well is because of a uh, hot or meddling with uh, the ship's AI. Uh, probably in a way to make it more uh, human-like, because he traveled alone. I'd like to learn more about the colony. What part of the colony would you like to discuss? Probably none of it. Oh, I can... Oh, ne never mind that. How can I be of assistance? Nothing now, Ida. I'm good. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> that's a way to say bye. Okay, fine. Uh, what, what we got here? Search for the secrets in in Rose Roseway. So that's something we can check. Where is Roseway? Investigate Roosevelt to find potential company secrets that could be sold to the highest bidder uh, through Gladys. Taking, talking to the scientists around the town would probably be a good place to start. So Gladys... So Roosevelt is a settlement in Terra 2 that we can consider visiting. Other than that, passage anywhere. Yeah, we we uh, that's the main quest, but that's just the main quest. That's boring. We don't we don't want to go there. Actually, the main quest is most certainly awesome, but that's not what we want. <clears throat> also, apparently, I can go to my chambers and maybe uh see how how many parts are missing from Sam. Uh. Messages for light? Oh, Blaine. Oh, here we go. I'm getting messages. Light, this is just to let you know that I've given out the rest of what you know. What? To the you-know-whos. So for the secrecy. You never really know who's reading these things. I appreciate you giving me the time of day. You risk your neck he heading into that community center. I'm grateful, but I also appreciate it if you've never told any another soul about our business. I like my job, and I should like to keep it. Oh, I got it. I'm pretty glad. So, I, I suppose she's the girl uh, who wanted to uh, distribute the medicine. First, Sam results. Do not forget, you found a discarded sanitation and maintenance automatic Auto mechanical in Emerald Vale's scrap heap during your last job. It should not be too difficult to get it up and running. With a few key modifications, I can envision a combat capable variant. Some might say a clean, mean killing machine. Should be fun. <clears throat> I need to a little bit remind myself to uh, slow down uh, when I read things. Because I I usually read a lot faster, but when I when I speak it out loud, I need to slow down or I, I start stuttering because you just can't talk that fast, like at least in a normal way. It, it's just, it's super dumb, but I, I just make that mistake all the time. <clears throat> uh, removal of factory standard part SUDS steeper was successful. Delivery of combat modified replacement part acid steeper has been deployed. Uh, progress setback is estimated not to be solid three months. Not like I have more pressing matters to attend to. Uh, but I do. Right. I'm giving up hope on the delivery. The part is lost in transit and it's not turning up anytime soon. But good news. I heard from a fellow who knows a gal who knows the broker who overcharged me for the information regarding the location of an acid steeper. I can um, 
Lich. Uh, the part was sent to an old storage facility in Rosevay. I sure never thought I'd go back to that pit. Good thing Auntie abandoned it years ago. I'll pick it up following this next pit stop back to Emerald Vale. Vels wants me to chaperone some person of interest. Duty has come later. Okay, so we have two missions leading us to Roseway. Roseway. Uh, task. Is that like a companion quest already? Yeah, it, it already shows up as a companion quest. Like, I know that's gonna be a companion. And uh, we can just go. Uh, actually, I'm going the wrong way. I love this ship. I love this ship. It's it's a really good uh, way to have like a center for your companions. That makes a lot of sense. Not just like they're sitting at, at, at a house, you know. No, no, no. They're all coming with me. Makes sense. So we have two missions uh, leading us to Terra Two. So I checked out Phineas's lab and the Groundbreaker, and we can go to the Typhoon. I can go to Scylla, Monarch, and Terra 2. Two missions lead me to Terra 2. So, Roseway acquired the science weapon on the Groundbreaker. Wow! The logs on Hawthorne's terminal mentioned rumors from the Groundbreaker of a scientist who bragged about powerful weapon he was researching. Perhaps more details can be found on the station. Another of Hawthorne's log mentioned looking in Gladden's shop for old records. Apparently the smuggler acquired several leads that way. You know what? I want to be feral. And this is uh, something I want to do. So we're just going to head out. I'm going to drink uh, bone water. And I can choose from the team. It's going to be Parvati. Do I take Ellie? I might just take Felix. And uh, go. The center is in our midst. Fast travel is a convenient way of moving to areas you already explored. But I can't! Oh, I got the talking outfit. Oh shit. No, no, no. You, you gotta go with something serious business. And also, we gotta change your uh, behavior. Current max health. They all have the same thing. We can up your persuasion, which would up my persuasion. But we don't really need it. Parvati. Man, finding this weapon was amazing. So, what skills you got? He has Persuasion, Sneak, which I don't value, and Lockpick, which I value. The sneak is not something I value at all. I don't really sneak around. Persuasion, Lockpick, and Engineering. Parvati is is the, basically the main companion. She's extremely useful and impossible to dislike. Unless maybe like you just really dislike somewhat vanilla companions. Damage to covering enemies. So if we can go with extra armor or improve my... I don't know, I'll just go with extra armor. Companion ability damage. Okay, I'll just apply. Again, I just want him to not die. Not die is... Not dying is pretty good. Oh man, I don't have enough armor now. That's a bummer. <laughs> uh, this is a good way to boost engineering if I need it. By a lot. Okay. <laughs> uh, sure. Perks. Yep. Let's head out. But 
I'm gonna hit level 11 pretty damn soon. But we wanna pick up the special. You see, we had a conveyor pull in. One of them uh, weapon here, if you can. Where are we going? I don't think we can. Yeah, we're going for, to Gladys, and there's no shortcut there. I wonder when the the loot changes here. It's possible that the loot changes when you level up. Wow, look at this garbage. Light with plus five stealth skills. And that's it. It's terrible. Oh, that's not terrible. <laughs> 29 armor helmets? I might take that. How much is that? 200? 200 bucks for that. I like that a lot. 200 bucks? You know, we're gonna buy that for 200 bucks. But I'm so much better at trading with people. Maybe if people really hate you, or you're just a total jerk who kills people. Wait. Are you gonna tell me about the science weapon? Have you had a moment to look into that little opportunity I told you about on Roseway? You don't hurry up. Someone will get to snooping around there before you do. Okay, okay. I'm on it. Back to the hard-earned wisdom? Straight to the point, eh? Alright then, on you go. You mentioned groundbreakers outside of the board's control. I don't know. That's right, dearie. The only independent station in the colony. That's us. Though for how long, I can't say. That all depends on Miss June Lay. Yeah, but we already know about th this information, kind of. The logs on Hawthorne's uh, terminal mentioned rumors from the groundbreaker of a scientist who bragged about the powerful weapon he was researching. Perhaps more details can be found on the station. <clears throat> okay. Another of Hawthorne's logs mentioned looking in Gladys's shop for old records. Apparently the smuggler acquired several leads that way. Maybe. But Gladys most likely wouldn't take kindly to me stealing. Shh. <sighs> We're in trouble here. If I try to pick it, they, they're gonna get mad. Okay, how do I do this? Oh, I make if you're you here for stand this up. week's magazine club meeting. You're a touch late. I'm not. I want to talk about this opportunity you mentioned. Yes, dearie. No, this is the Anytime, same thing. Sweetheart. You know where to find me. Hmm. Maybe we can find a terminal. Oh shit. I know about stuff here. Stay outside, Over. guys. Break some locks. Now oh, we need key cards. Uh a revolver. Kinda crap. I'll just take stuff. Rest and go key card. Is it possible to steal the key card from the guy? This is Halcyon News. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following. Pretty long steal. 
Do you have what it takes to defend your corporate township from the dangers of alien wildlife and the unemployed? Ooh, tech shotgun. Sentry saber gets destroyed. What? I need a key card for every single one. Really? This story brought to you by Halcyon News. All the news that's fit to break. Come with me, guys. Maybe he has a key card too. Now see here, I'm what? Hmm. I got the last key card. I can't help but feel that Gladys has it. All right, I'm on the move. Ooh. So we are looking for information here. Outside. What we got here? Some booze. Or the weapon itself. That would be great. Okay. It's not much here. Be right over. Pay to view cereals. Yeah, we ought to check this out, and there's just nothing here. I can I can keep uh, stealing stuff from the crew, but I don't think that's gonna matter too much. But I do like stealing. <laughs> the, the loot we get is just extra. On my way, boss. If I try to steal, you're gonna get busted. No? Huh? Oh. Oh. So the the meter actually goes up. What do you think you're doing? Uh, I'm, um, I was just leaving. You're free to go. Sorry about that. Oh, I'm paranoid? Personal attributes minus one for a perk point. I'm not a huge fan of that. Let's reject it. Perks are not really worth that much. I think they're just gonna attack me if I try to keep stealing. I don't wanna get into that trouble. Oh, what am I supposed to do? Look at this. Acquire science weapon on the Groundbreaker. Another one of uh, uh, Halton's log mansion looking in Gladys's shop for old records. Apparently the smuggler acquired several leads that way. Gladys's shop. For old records. So not the ones she's writing now. I guess. Incoming! Got this! Hey, oh no. We got into trouble. I don't think we want to do this. Yeah. 
Now this seriously affects the the outcome of the quest. So maybe maybe not. Maybe we are not going to murder Gladys. So we would have to head out. And uh, Felix. An no! Fucked. I fucked up. Sorry about that. Let's go back. I only took Felix. Hmm. I I'm not sure what to do about that. Maybe it's gonna be something that uh, we can ask from her. Uh, while she once she likes us more. Uh, the good news is we, we really didn't get too much done other than just snoop around her place. Just looted some random crap. I, well, found a decent helmet, but mainly just uh, put some points on Felix. And that was it. And gave him a weapon, I believe. Uh, yep, that one. Also changed his... Uh, behavior slightly that should be good enough oh actually felix makes me a better sneaker you see we had a oh. i guess that's that i don't want to trade here because i'm so much better at with, uh, trading with people so if i can just keep doing that that's so much better You looking to shoot targets, Farmit? Oh, uh, let me... Just show me what you got. 58% discount. That's just so insane. That's insane. Everything's so cheap. But I don't care. So if you want to buy some armor, I probably want to do it from the dedicated armor merchant that apparently... Usually has just worse stuff than the vending machines. Ooh, you're here. It'll do a lot for my credit in the promenade if people see you buying something. So, what'll it be? Some armor? And show me the good stuff. Like, you always show me the trash. Can you show me the good stuff? Anything that just cost actually something. But no, you only show me the trash. Level 13, light armor. But no one cares about light armor. It's all about heavy armor, mate. Okay. That's not too bad. Anything that's heavy. Very heavy. I like that. Now this seems decent. So, block plus 5. Stealth skills. 26 armor. That's not too bad. Let's, let's check it out. 21 with long guns. I think this is justifiable for the main character. Felix uh, might be happier. Yeah, 17. Yeah, this if seems like a decent someone... upgrade. It's not amazing, but it's pretty good. And also, oh, 26 helmets. That's okay. So I guess we can buy that. And uh and buy some heavy armor. At least one. I th I, th I think one should be enough. Let's do that. Nothing here. Not much there. I guess that's it. So Felix is going to have a heavy armor. Uh like right away. And he's going to use this helmet. And Parvati uses a 29 helmet and a 34 armor. But I don't think they are quite as strong. 24 helmet. But it's, it's, it's good enough. It's good enough. And uh, thanks, mate. I'm not sure if he should go to Gladys at all at this point. Search for secrets in the Rosemary. Find Captain Irion on Scylla. 
So we have to go to Scylla. We have to go to the Terra 2 for uh, Rosevay. And we gotta investigate uh, this Earth Skull. That's again Rosevay. Companion quest on Rosevay. Empty Man is a monarch. Oh, right. I need to talk to Pravati. And this is when we have the license. So now we have a plan. The plan is super simple. Is it just me or is... Oh, it's Martin. Hey, Martin. Still wearing the hat? <laughs> How observant. I'm authorized to state that this uniform is more than headgear. It's a state of mind. And our customers know the difference. Alright, just show me what you got. Uh, have a look. He's just selling crap. Oh, he's selling armor. But crap armor? Yeah, that's it. Crap armor. Maybe some good helmets. No. They're also subpar. Perfect. Spacer's choice. Oh, actually, Space's Choice doesn't lo like me as much. Me? If I look at the character, reputation, we see that the ground make Groundbreaker really like me. Space's Choice, very mixed feelings. <laughs> the Deserters love me, but... Oh, vendor prices are reduced by 25%. I'm neutral to this faction. They like me a lot. <laughs> they don't like me at all. Vendor prices are reduced by 25% and uh, conversational skills and the bonus come on top of that. So vendor prices are reduced by 45% plus the bonuses, which kind of add up to a lot. Jump over. I can't do it. Have either of the assault cruisers ever? I guess we're going to Terra 2. There's nowhere else to go. Well, we can go to other places, but Terra 2 seems to have the the most going on right now. Against all odds, the unreliable takes flight. Uh, but I before I that, Felix and Parvati discussing the latest Aetherwave serial. Yeah, we're gonna have a chat with Parvati, then head out. Parvati? Oh, yeah. I don't know if you watched the big finale, but... You know that slick-looking spacer from All My Colonists? They got her playing the Queen of the Marauders. Do you think maybe I could borrow that sometime? What? You guys just walk away silently? Hey, Captain. Can I get your temperature on something real quick? Sure thing. So, Jun Lei and I have been talking some. Through messages, I got him here on my data pad, and well, she sent me a poem. One she wrote her own self, I'm pretty sure. I don't know if I should read into it, because poems are all symbolic and such, right? It's not so good, <laughs> but real sweet. <laughs> Comes from the heart, you say. Oh, law. That's what's got me spooked. I don't rightly know. It's about this engine that's been shaking itself apart. Then this lady mechanic comes by and lays one hand on it. And the trouble goes away. It sings. I don't want to get too hopeful, but I'm wondering if maybe she's the engine and I'm the lady? It's a real romantic poem. It made my chest hurt, kind of. Looks like she likes you. I don't know where it's leading yet, or if I'm misinterpreting. I'm not much interested in physical stuff. Never have been. Leastways, not like other folks seem to be. It's not that I can't. I just don't care for it. It's been a problem in the past. The folk who wanted to be with me back in the Vale, they didn't... They said I was cold. <laughs> Oh, 
I'm just pretty impressed by the characters. Uh, you're about the warmest person I ever met. To help with them. Could be just nerves. Nah. Everyone's different, don't worry about it. That that's almost It almost sounds like I'm just I'm just saying that everyone's flawed or maybe you're flawed. No 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 that, that you, you can read into it that way. Folks have said the same about me. Huh. I like that. The the first one is a little just just like trying to compliment her, which is great. But folks have said the same about me. What do you think about me? I'm sad to hear it, Captain. No. <laughs> you seem plenty warm to me in your way. That's the point. But yeah, don't feel great, does it? No. When folks start implying you're a little different from an auto mechanical, you start to wonder. No, no, no. I guess I just needed to talk. I'm feeling a touch better. Thanks for hearing me out, Captain. That's not what Actually, I meant. Another message from Junlei. I just <gasps> couldn't work up the courage to open it. But I'm going to change that right now. Okay, here we go. Let's see here. Talking about old friends. Got to thinking. Isabel. Who's who's Isabel? That's not what I meant, Parvati. You said it yourself. You, you said that I, I seem warm. How about that? <sighs> well, she cares about what others think. And I'm way past that shit, Parvati. I'm way past that. So, okay. But I, I totally get you. Totally get you. Okay, is everything okay? Well, that went downhill fast. You're looking a little rough. I'm not gonna say that, but I probably would have uh, been better off just uh, complimenting her, but the thing is, that's again, uh, basing your self-respect on others, so for someone who just doesn't give a shit about, uh, well, maybe like, yeah, that's that's kind of that's kind of an accurate way to say it, not, not saying that it doesn't sh care about other people, it just uh, doesn't really base their self-respect on other people's opinions. Uh, complimenting that person is kind of pointless in a way. A little point. Well, it still could feel nice to them, but they're not gonna be like super crushed or like super boosted just because you complimented them. But it seems like Pravati is uh, uh, more response. Well, she just she just uh, responds to that. Better. And that's, that's, uh, that's kind of fine, I guess, if she's with good people like us, but it can be a uh, uh, liability. <clears throat> Everything okay? They were close, Captain. Like, more than friends close. Uh, ooh, how close are we talking about? They were close, hmm? Not anymore? I don't know. June Lei talked about them like it was past, but... How far in the past? Ten years? Last week? Does it matter? Captain, I'm feeling all mixed up right now. Could we maybe head to the Groundbreaker? Get some drinks at that bar there? Lost Hope? You just wanna... Uh, you just wanna chill out? I, we just fucking left! Okay, great idea. Drinking solve the thing. I don't, this doesn't really sound like you, Parvati. You're not a drinker. I know this. If that's what you want, next time we hit the Groundbreaker, drinks are on me. I mean, yes, I mean, that's what you want. You said you don't drink. Will you be all right? Wouldn't it be easier to talk to her and about this Isabel person? Ooh. I don't think drinking is gonna solve it. Now, this is the example where she says she wants to do something and I, I would say like, you know, you, you could do it. I don't think that's the worst idea but it's not really her wouldn't it be easier to talk to her about this isabel person maybe for you i start thinking about all the things she could say and my guts start crawling up my throat i'm full serious next time we're on the groundbreaker i aim to get a drink if i got to i'll do it on my lonesome but i'd feel better if someone i trusted was there
I'm with you. But I just I just feels a little weird that she wants to get a drink. But fine. Okay. If that's, that's what you want. Okay, where are we heading? Oh. Companion quest. Take Provotic to the Lost Hope on the Groundbreaker. Well, we wanted to head out, but I guess we're going to the Groundbreaker to get drunk. It's a shame though, because I have a lot of boots. Uh, I guess we're taking Felix. <laughs> Felix, you're coming with us. No problem. Just me me and you, Parvati, and Felix. He's just coming as a, as a bodyguard. Just He's just gonna stand guard. <clears throat> wow, look at that. I, I got uh, a lot of uh, spare bullets. Just in case we need it. Oh, we got this pistol, but I, I never planned to use it. Grenade launcher. Alright. <clears throat> Wait. Oh yeah. Going to the bar. Sorry. We went past the bar. So, how's this work? <laughs> Do we get a table? Stand in a corner? Oh man. You're asking the wrong person. I guess we just get a drink and sit down at the table. When you were sick. I mean, I, I feel like your expectations are a little higher for this uh, than it's gonna be. It just It's just basically a worse version of uh, doing this at home. <laughs> Unless you just really enjoy the company, but I don't think uh, this is the company you're gonna enjoy. Alright, uh, two drinks coming right up. A new face. What's your pleasure, stranger? Uh... No, 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 no. This is the time for um, getting a little close here, Parvati. You know what? I'm just gonna... We're just gonna sit down with Baibus. Let me do that. Uh, maybe just take our own table. Okay, what the fuck am I supposed to do? Okay, so... What are we drinking? You're the expert? I'm, I'm not an expert. Owen, don't worry on the price. I got this. Let's just do it proper. Shit. I'm not an expert. I'm not an expert. I only drink water. Have you seen me on mission? <laughs> the only one time I got shit face drunk is when I <laughs> then drank like five bottles of wine. And when I thought it's gonna quench my thirst. It was uh, just a pure desperation. You're not much of a drinker. Better start slow with a beer. Maybe I start with beer, but you said in Edgewater the smell made you sick. How about wine? Oh, that's very thoughtful. I don't know. We're not trying to get her shit faced uh, as soon as po possible. Uh, let's start with wine, maybe. Maybe we, I, I don't think you you're necessarily going to like it, but let's go with that. Oh wow! You remembered. Well, that's fruit and such, right? Okay, wine it is. Bottoms up. I'm no expert on wine, but ain't you supposed to drink that stuff with your little finger up? Wow, this is really kind of nice, actually. Who'd have guessed old fruit could taste so good? Oh, Captain. I'm pining for June like something fierce. What am I doing? I'm not sure. Are you even into Ju June? Eh? You shouldn't mis uh, mistake your feelings, because... You were interested in Julie because she's an engineer. Now Julie started hitting on you in a somewhat weird way. I mean, like I'm not one to judge, but <clears throat> and now you're just totally into her. Um, going on a grand adventure across Halcyon. Winding it sounds like no, that's just mean. Enjoying a drink with friends? Yeah, that seems okay. But this is again not really her style. 
if someone who was like even a, like a casual drinker suggested this, I, I wouldn't even bat an eye. But now that she suggests it, mm. Mm. enjoy a good drink with friends. Yeah, that just that just uh, reminds her that we are here for her. Huh. Yeah, I guess we are that, huh? We can friends. be more than friends. Friends give each other counsel, right? What do you think I should do about Jun Lei? Because I feel about as aimless as an automac with a busted nav chip. You want to know what I think? I think you should write what you want to say down in your hand. Always work for me. You fucking idiot. I should have brought someone smarter. <laughs> You're just the joker of the group. <laughs> oh, man. Mr. Carrying Boxes guy. Start by telling me why her message got you so unsettled. There's no need to, yeah, 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 let's go with that. Well, she talked about another girl, right? Isabel. Mentioned her by name and everything, like she wanted me to know. Maybe I've been making a right fool of myself this whole time, maybe she's not interested after all. It seems a little odd, like, okay. Why would you talk about your ex? Like, okay, like, imagine the scenario. You meet with a hot girl, she, she's smart, she's nice, she's like, you're, she's great, okay? And, uh, the, the situation is just all business. Maybe, maybe she likes your job, but that's it. That's all you know. Then, later that day, you send her an, uh, an email about your ex. Like, what the fuck? Like, how cool is that on a scale of 1 to 100? You guys decide. I'm, I'm not even gonna attempt that shit. Uh, what she actually write in that message, you haven't said. Oh, and also poetry. Um, of course, uh, I, I also forget about that. It was real long and rambly. She was telling me a story about her dad, how a lady named Isabel did all sorts of things to try to win his favor. This Isabel lady never quite managed to get her dad's approval, but they carried on anyways. Made something good out of a bad situation. Then it all went down the tubes. Do you think June Lay still has feelings for her? It does sound like it. Definitely. What is this really about? Shit, my perception is so low. If I if I if I could change my attributes, one thing that I would go for is more perception because it, it plays a role in conversation. Uh intelligence and perception seems to play the uh intelligence not so much. Perception seems to play more of a role in conversation. I think she might. She very I think it's very likely. Thinking so makes me liable to lose my lunch, Captain. I never I've never done this before. A relationship. How do I know if she cares the same way I do? I, I need another drink. Right now. Before I lose my nerve. First of all, she likes you. And now you're kind of obliged, you like, feel obligated to like her back. And almost like, now you're talking about that you like her and she doesn't like you. Like you kind of you you you're interested in her because she's an engineer, not not because she's like a attractive woman, right? Let's get you some water. Come on, Captain! I'm here to drink. Okay, maybe you're right. I am a little woozy. I, I was not suggesting that Migration. we stop drinking. Here I come. Good thinking, boss. You just saved Parvati a whole lot of trouble. Shut the fuck up, Felix. Shush you. <laughs> That's right. Oh, Captain. I want to talk to Jun Lei all the time. Even about silly things, but... I'm so scared. Oh, man. For body. Well, I want what's best for you. And if anything, I would like to be the special person in your life, but if not, I, I just want to see you happy. I'm not sure if you're gonna find your way with this uh, Jun Lei person. She seems okay. But uh, she's obviously not over her ex, very much so. And um, I think you're just gonna get hurt. But 
as as uh, kind and uh, good-hearted you are, you're probably just gonna suffer through hell. And uh, maybe not hell, but uh, maybe uh, less than you deserve. You need to get over it. Ah, that's just a shit thing to say. What about me? Ooh. What about me? You're swell, Captain. Don't get me wrong. I like spending time with you, going on adventures and all, but that ain't the same as, as romance. Does she think I'm as pretty as I think she's handsome? What if she doesn't like me? What if she does? What if she's still got feelings for that lady, Isabel? What if we we get together and she gets bored of me? Okay. So it's quite clear that uh, she's, uh, to an extent, uh, like she has uh, trouble uh, controlling her feelings. Just kind of slip from her. I wouldn't say that she's like clearly neurotic. No, no, no. But yeah, this is pretty common. Just uh, just a bunch of what ifs going down, uh, making herself stressed. Don't stop there. You're on a roll. Uh, I'm not gonna make fun of it. If anything, I'm I'm pretty guilty of it myself. Uh, or was. Uh, there's an easy way to get answers to all those questions yeah we we get a just gotta talk to her you know there's nothing easy about about spilling your guts to the person who's got your heart in their hands i know you no know, i'm not interested in physical affection that's well it's tripped folks up in the past folks i thought cared about me for me what if she's not okay with that what if she is but then later she's not Well, I, I can't really. So I understand. So for you, romance would be like mostly a non-physical thing, and you're mostly rating her based on her interest to you. I don't know. Honestly, you just gotta tell that you just don't want to get physical, and um, but that that's probably a, a little bit. Maybe, maybe quite a bit, but that, that that's just the only way, like, that's just the only way. You told me! You told me! So you should be able to tell her, right? Then you go your separate ways. Yeah, that's it. We have that in common, you know. I'm not interested in physical affection either. <laughs> you're already, you're afraid of being rejected for who you are. Yeah, exactly. You can't control how people react to you. Even people you care about. But there are some very good lines here. There are some extremely good lines here. She's obviously affected, uh, afraid of being rejected for who, who she is. And like like these lines, they're very smart. Then you go your separate ways. That that's kind of like, but yeah. You can't control how people react to you, even people you care about. What do you mean, Captain? The only thing you can control is you. Trying to manage other people's feelings will drive you crazy. Also, it's super unfair. To the person trying to control others' feelings. And, you know, it's just super unfair for both, both people, you know, I think. Of course you can, like, I make mean, with the word control, manage. Yeah, it can be, like, yeah, ma manage. It sounded more profound in my head. The only thing you can control is you. I, th I think I would rather say that. So if I'm doing my very best to be kind and open-hearted, I shouldn't worry how she thinks of me? No. Nope. Gosh, I don't know that I got that in me. Sometimes I feel real mean inside, Captain. I think... ungenerous thoughts.
Parvati. The the point that you realized, or like at least we could discuss these issues, just shows how mature and wise you are. And of course, it's gonna be a super crazy challenge to even like come close to what you believe is right. Gosh, I don't know that it, I got that in me. Sometimes I feel real mean inside, Captain. I don't. I, I think ungenerous thoughts. Something to work on them. We all do. That's the whole point. That's the whole point. That we're all flawed as hell, but at least you can aim at something right. And you're not gonna hit it at all, but at least you're aiming for something okay. We all do. Oh, I suppose so, but I, I want to be my best self for her. A good person worth caring for. Well, Captain, this has been... This has been a whole lot. I got just... Wow. So much to think about. I, I kind of feel like a little bit like a hypocrite. For... Like, the thing is, Pravati, like... Not like I, I got all the shit figured out. I'm not like an expert drinker. I'm not like a... Like a super psychologist here. Or like the best friend of all time. I'm not even pretending to be. I just... I just want you to be happy. If you don't want to be happy with me, that's cool. You can be happy with this chick, but... Uh, just just be you, okay? So, are you going to ask her out? And take it fucking slow! <laughs> just because of that... Disaster of that... Uh, I, don't, I don't even know what to call it. How she approached you. That, that's kind of a disaster. And and I'm I'm pretty just uh yeah I, I know people are screwed up so that's fine that's fine you know uh that just shows that uh, she's clearly not over her ex so are you going to ask her out if anything uh, Jun Lai talked about how how much she bonded with Isabel I believe that's how she's called and. Uh, I think just, I think she just misses Isabel. At least kind of sounded like it. <clears throat> like if she could have Isabel back, that's what she would prefer. Clearly, not Parvati. So she just wants what she had with Isabel with Parvati, maybe. But if she can have Parvati uh, Isabel back, she would take that for sure. So you can ask her out. Oh gosh, I I don't know, Captain. Do you think I should? Do you want to? What does the boost tell you? Fuck yeah. Perfect. Don't ask for my opinion. Believe in yourself. I'm just gonna say that. I'm not just gonna pep talk her. Okay. I I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna ask June out. Just as soon as we get back to the ship. I mean, probably. Eventually. Thanks for hearing me out and giving me counsel. And, well, for being a friend. It means a whole lot. You're good people, Captain. You know something, Parvati? You ought to come drinking with the crew more often. You shut the fuck up, huh. Felix. All right. Thank you, guys. You're real good friends, you know that? I wish... I wish there was a place we could all live quiet together. Come on, let's go. There do. On the ship. And it's so much better because if we were leaving, uh, living in a dumb house, people would get bored as hell. Take provide back to the ship. No problem. <laughs> I'm kind of wondering that, like, why people wanna do. Things that they haven't done before, especially when they they facing such uh, changes in their lives, or maybe p potential changes in their lives. She's like she wants to go drinking, like that that she just doesn't want to do. Uh, just something she would not even consider usually. I believe I hear Felix and Parvati discussing the latest Aetherwave serial. Mm. It does show a bit of uh, openness to experience. Oh, 
she would like to talk to me on the ship as well. Felix, your apps are surely not gonna believe this. You remember that spin-off series about the mass marketeer? Halcyon Helen's coming on for a special romance arc! Ah! What if they hold hands? Ooh. That's the episode with Ruth Bellamy, right? Been meaning to catch that. Alright. Hey, Captain. I hope I wasn't too much bother at the bar. I did have fun, and I tried some things I never would have otherwise. Some of the drinks we tried I even liked. I guess it's not all disgusting. <laughs> we hold and I don't feel it today. I guess that water must have worked. I'm glad I had you looking out for me. We have one glass of wine per body. So, sure. We can drink anytime. Also, we had a glass of water too. Glad to hear it. I'm not gonna ask this. I think that's just pushy. I'm not, not pushing her to contact Junlei. If she chooses to uh, contact Junlei at all, that's that's just her choice. Glad to hear it. I wouldn't mind having a drink again. Someday. In the distant future. Distant future. Anyway. I messaged Junlei when we got back and she replied super quick. <clears throat> okay. I was awake half the night thinking about what I sent, anxious to see what you said. I reread my message in the morning and it was unclear. <laughs> I was drinking when I sent it. Otherwise, I wouldn't have had the courage. Also, sorry for the typos. Hmm. Okay, not too bad too. Uh, not bad so far. I've ruined things in the past because I didn't say things I should have, like I've met someone who's become special to me. I want to be honest with her, so if she feels the same about me, there won't be any surprises. So Junlei does like you, and she said it in the most awkward way possible. Uh, the Isabel crisis was all a big misunderstanding. <laughs> yeah, I mean, in my defense, it's not like June was all too clear about what she was trying to say. She still ain't. I ought to go write her back. I mean, I already did. Twice. <laughs> but anyhow, thanks for taking me out, Captain. Okay. I guess that's it. <laughs> She's the only one on the ship who has a relationship. <sighs> oh, and she's apparently the awkward one. Alright, Ada. I think we gotta head out. But before we do that, maybe we just take a break. So, thanks for watching guys and see you next time.